All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, bleed the clutch. The uh, fluid in the, in the tri-glide has uh, water in it from the brake fluid and that's pretty normal. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the prep work here. I took a plastic bag and I covered it over the lower fairing there. Uh, you don't want to get uh, brake fluid on paint. Paint can uh, get ruined with brake fluid on it. Next thing we're going to do is we have the handles turned on the bike as far as they can go to the right. And what we're trying to do is get the reservoir, which is right here, as level as possible. Now, it looks like it's got a little bit of a slant to it, and I'm hoping when I open it that the brake fluid's not going to come out of it, but it's about as level as I can get it. All right, so let's take the cover off and take a look and see what we got in here. I don't want to get dirt or anything inside here, so I'll remove this. There's a little gasket in it. No uh, brake fluids come out, so it looks so good, so far so good. Well, hopefully you'll be able to see this. This is a tester here. And we turn it on, hopefully you can see that green light, and we stick it inside here. And actually I'm not getting a reading. Uh, it's still saying that this brake fluid is uh, good. However, when I look inside of it, it looks like there's a sediment in here and it looks really dirty so we're going to go ahead and change it. I don't really like the looks of that. Okay, we're going to get the fluid out of the reservoir. I usually use a turkey baster. <laughs> Works pretty good. So you can see how dirty that fluid is. I bet this hasn't been changed uh, since the bike was Conceived. <laughs> it is really dirty in here. If you can see that, that's pretty black. Uh, this should be clear. So. I'm going to take a little paper towel and just kind of put it in here and let it absorb some of that other, the rest of that fluid. And I'm really amazed at how dirty it is, so it's a good thing we're doing this. Okay, I'm going to try and show you the reservoir here. Uh, where this black still is here, that still is fluid there. Um, so there's no air at this point that has gotten into the lines. Uh, the fill line is right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, that's where we'll eventually uh, refill the reservoir for. The next part of the project involves going to where the actual clutch is. And the clutch is over here on the transmission. And in order to get to the bleeder, we're going to have to take this cover off. So let's take this cover off. It's only two, uh, two Allen bolts. And you just kind of wiggle it off, and there we go. And that's the clutch right there. And that little green cover right there is over the bleeder. All right, this is what I'm using to bleed the brakes. Uh, you can pick this up at Harbor Freight. You can get it online. Uh, we're going to take the end of the hose here, and we're going to plug it over the bleeder right there. We're going to pump it draw suction, and then we're going to pull the brake fluid from the reservoir down. 
Now the big thing that you have to make sure of is you got to keep that reservoir filled up above otherwise you're going to get air in the line. So we'll, we'll, we'll bleed a little bit and then go take a look at the reservoir and see how we're doing. So we're going to take it and just start pumping it up. I will undo the bleeder. I want that dark, dirty stuff come out of there. Okay, I'm going to close it. And I'm going to go check my reservoir. Alright, I filled up a little more in the reservoir. I've still got some pressure on the line right now. I'm going to pump it up a little more. And open up the bleeder again and watch the fluid. When the fluid looks like it's clear, then we're in pretty good shape. And it's looking pretty good right now. So I'm going to close the bleeder up. <coughs> I'll release from the bleeder. And I don't know if you can see, but that's all the dirty stuff that we've got. Now the only thing left to do on this side is put the cover on. So I'm going to put the little dust filter cover there, right there, the dust cap. Alright, we'll put the cover back on. It's held on by these two Allen bolts. And I'm using a 3 16 inch wrench on this. The uh, bleeder was a quarter inch, but it almost seemed metric. It was My quarter inch wrench was a little bit loose on it. The rounded part felt okay. Um, the, uh, or, you know, the round part of the wrench. That felt tight, but the open end part did not feel very good, so I don't know. Alright, if you're interested in the torque specs, the uh, the clutch actuator bleeder screw is supposed to be 31 to 41 inch pounds, and the uh, clutch reserve cover screws are 12 to 15 inch pounds. Now, <laughs> to me, that's you know just to snug them up tight. Um, and the outer transmission cover screw, these are supposed to be 100 to 120 inch pounds. So I set my torque wrench to 110. We're going to tighten them down to that. And that's it. Now I've taken the reserve and I put the cover back on that and that's it. You're all done.